guys, today I filmed this video for you on a super smoky winged out liner. This is completely done with eyeshadow, no liner whatsoever. And then I did some faux freckles and kind of a warmer toned cheek and nose area to accent with the freckles. And I've seen this look done a lot of places on Instagram and I wanted to give it my shot because I wanna get a little more into different makeup looks, things that maybe you don't see everywhere and it's just fun, it's makeup, it washes off, no big deal. I hope you guys like this video. If you are not yet subscribed, make sure you do so so you guys can be updated when I put out new videos and you can turn on notifications if you want to know exactly when I upload because I don't have a superset schedule. Typically upload at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time but the days are to be determined, I upload whenever I feel like it, which is pretty often if you ask me. I'd say every other day, every two days. I show you two different versions. I show you with the faux freckles and without. So if you wanna just wear this normally without the faux freckles, don't fear, that is in this video. All right, let's hop into the tutorial. So you guys know that I've been using the ever living shit out of my Morphe 25A palette and I just received the 25B in the mail and I bought this, I'm not affiliated with Morphe. But as you can see when comparing them side by side, the Morphe 25A, which is this one here, is a lot more coppery and this one has a lot more pink tones. So I'm gonna stick with this one today and do something kind of fun. So I've kind of been lacking as far as inspiration goes on makeup looks and so I took to Instagram and went around and looked and saw if I could find any sort of inspirational pictures that really just did something to me. The ones that I kept being drawn to are ones with a ton of faux freckles, more than what I normally do here, but even brought up onto the forehead, some down on the chin. So if it's too much for you, it's still fun to watch. So I'm gonna start off by moisturizing my face and I'm going to be using the Tatcha Balanced Pore Perfecting Water Gel Moisturizer. I know I haven't probably zoomed in on this so you guys can see. It's got like a gold luminescence in it and really adds a pretty luminous layer underneath your foundation. I know my skin looks bad right now, but it actually isn't. These are all old and these are just little scarring marks because I am a picker. I'm really, really bad about picking at my skin. I know I need to stop. It's a problem. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my favorite foundation and right now that is the L'Oreal Pro Glow and I'm using the color 202. Once I find a product that I like, I really am loyal to it. So you'll see that right now, pretty much all I'm using is the L'Oreal Pro Glow. Right now, this one is my favorite because it's so dewy and just, I don't know how much more I can say about it to try to convince you that it's good. If you have dry to normal skin, I would say give this a shot because it is quite dewy. If you have oily skin, I'd probably see your clear from it because I think after about an hour, you would just be too oily. Don't you hate it when you find a YouTuber and you love them so much, but you binge watch their entire channel and then you have to actually wait for them to put out content and you're like, do you guys love Good Mythical Morning as much as I love Good Mythical Morning? Because every night, I shit you not, every single night of my life, Zach gets off of work, he plays little video games, we wind down, eat dinner, watch Good Mythical Morning all night, we watch it while we fall asleep. It's like our nightly routine is Rhett and Link and I'm literally obsessed with them. I've been watching them for, I would say coming up on six years now, five or six years, and I'm just obsessed. I can't get enough of them. I think they are the two funniest people on the internet. I feel like they're my best friends, but they don't know I exist. It is my ultimate goal one day to be on Good Mythical Morning. I would literally die. I think I would actually die. I don't know how I would act around them. I don't think I'd play it cool at all. You know how when you're around somebody really funny, you're not funny anymore? I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but I am not funny around funny people. I literally can't be funny. All right, foundation is done. Now I'm going to move on to concealer. And for that, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm not gonna take it up as high as my under eye. I'm just gonna kind of put a little bit right here. Oh, the smell of this is so good. And right under my under eyes, I'm gonna do the NYX HD Concealer in the color Porcelain. This has a nicer consistency for my under eyes. The other one is too dry. If I take Tarte Shape Tape right underneath my under eye, it's just way too dry. So before that sets down and creases on my eye, I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm going to set my under eyes and my eyelids. If you didn't notice about the Laura Mercier powder, when you 
you can tell it like airbrushes the area and makes it just look, it makes my skin look flawless in a really blurred way, which I really like. While my foundation is sitting here and sinking into my skin, I'm going to throw on the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Eyebrow Gel in Brunette. And I'm also going to take the color black and I'm just gonna put that on the tail because as you can see, I don't have a very warm hair tone. I've got, it's a very neutral color. And sometimes brunette can be a little bit warm on me. So that's why I'm gonna kind of mix the two together. So I want my brows to be a bit more bold today because the look is gonna be bold and I don't want them to be overshadowed by everything else. But lately I've been just doing my brows a lot more natural, not with a brow gel product like this. I think I'll do a brow video where I show you my two different types of brows that I do. I've got like my 30 second brows that I do more on the regular and then these are like my five minute brows. I used to do some really fun looks on my Instagram and I do a lot more avant-garde stuff. And I realized that I've been steering clear of that lately and just doing very basic wearable looks. I love to do fun makeup. So that's kind of why I'm doing this look today. Even though it's not something that I'm gonna wear on the regular. Well, I will, but maybe you won't. I just don't want to do it because I want to just kind of step outside of my comfort zone. And I'm just gonna run some clear brow gel through my brows and this is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Here are the colors I'm going to go in with, and I think I'm gonna start with mixing these two colors here. I'm just running that through the crease. I'm gonna do a huge wing today. I have not done a winged look in a minute. I'm gonna go in with a mixture of these two shades here, and I'm just gonna kinda of run that all over my mobile lid. Just a wash of color right on the mobile lid. And I'm going to dip into this shade here. And I'm just going to run this color right along the base of my lashes. We're gonna build this up to be like a smoky wing. And then I'm gonna take the Sigma E15 flat definer brush and I'm gonna dip into that same color and I'm just gonna run that as really close as I can to the lash line, sort of pressing it in. I'm gonna run a bit of that same color right underneath the lash line. Right as close as I can. I'm gonna sort of build up my wing shape and then I'm going to fill it in and really define it. But right now I'm just sort of building it up by dragging out that bottom liner straight up. This is an easy way to do wing liner if you're not so good at like gel liner or uh, liquid liner. This is an easier way to do it. And you sort of want to look down into the mirror because you want your wing to be straight when your eyes are closed. Now I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade in this palette here. And I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm just going to really press that into the lash line, blending up into that color we put down. If you're going like this and following your bottom lash line out, following your bottom lash line out, they will match and it makes it a lot easier. So I am getting a bit of fallout with these shadows and I don't want it to ruin my foundation. So I just put a light layer of the Laura Mercier powder over my face so that anything that falls out will fall out on top of the powder and then we can just brush it all away without it sticking to our foundation. So I do like a good smoked out bottom lash line. I like it to gradiate down and not just be stark like this on the bottom. So I'm gonna take this shade here from the bottom. I'm gonna take my Sigma medium angled shading brush, sort of buff out that bottom line so it's not just a line. I want it to be a soft blend. Now I wanna take one of these shimmerier shades and just sort of pat it on the very inner corner of my eyes 
And I'm immediately drawn to this one here. And just patting it on the inner corner. You can keep this look matte if you want, but for me, I wanted drama today. So I'm just going to pat that on the inner corner and then sort of take a clean finger and pat out the edge so it gradiates in. And I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara for today. You don't have to use this mascara. The L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara is one of my all-time faves. I really love that one. It works great if you're just gonna throw lashes over the top like I am. It's almost a waste to use this high-end mascara. I forgot to throw my liner on and for that I'm gonna be using the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil in the color Obsidian. Making sure to really press that into my lashes as well so there's no gap. All right, so I'm gonna toss on a pair of lashes and today I'm gonna to be using Coco Lashes in the style Goddess and I will be right back. This is the finished eye look and now I'm gonna move on to the face and then I'm gonna give you two different options, one with faux freckles, one without because I know some people are not into them. The only thing different that I didn't show you with my eyes is I did pat a little bit of the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop highlighter on my inner corners because I just wanted a little bit of glow. Now I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette and I'm gonna go in with the color Subconscious here, which is the coolest toned contour shade on my Smith 112 brush. I don't have naturally any sort of cheekbone whatsoever, so I'm literally creating it from scratch. Like if I do suck my cheek in, you can tell that's sort of where it would be, but it's pretty minimal because I got, I got an extra layer of padding or two. I run a little bit up on my forehead as well because my hairline isn't ideal and I want to sort of shorten it. And anytime you add shade to your forehead, it can make it look smaller. Oh my God, and I'm gonna wear my hair down today for the first time because I put my tape-ins back in so I finally have some sort of volume to my hair. Ooh, cover up that double chin. Highlight wise, I feel like I should go in with something different than I normally do. So I'm going to, I'm gonna go in with Ofra Dupe That Collab in the color You Do You. Why does your car have to be so loud? We get it. Literally. Oh my God, I have not worn my hair down in two weeks. It's nice, holy shit. Y'all know that my favorite lipstick is the NYX Circe, and this is a nude. But I do wanna add a hue of pink to this, so I'm gonna go in with the Ofra Liquid Lipstick, and this is the collab with Manny MUA in the color Charmed. Pixie by Petra Glow Mist and I'm going to just set all over my face. And that is the finished look without any sort of faux freckles. I know that's gonna change a lot for a lot of people. Now some people do not like faux freckles at all. For me, I just wanna take some really cool Instagram pictures. So I'm probably just gonna zhuzh this up a lot. For this, I'm going to use probably a few different products. So typically what I use is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and I just sort of spin it on. But I think I want even darker freckles today. So I'm gonna go in with an angled brush and some of that NYX Brow Gel, I believe. And I'm gonna go in with the color Blonde and with the color Brunette. So I just put those colors on the back of my hand. Oh 
I want a more exaggerated look. I was going for kind of an avant-garde style. So then once all said and done and I've got the freckles on where I want them, take your finger and pat over the top. Also, I've seen this done a lot of places on Instagram, so I certainly did not come up with this, but because I wanna take some pretty artsy cool pictures, I saw that typically when people have freckles, their, the bridge of their nose is a bit darker because of all the freckles that are accumulating, but because I don't have them, you sort of create that with a little bit of bronzer. But I'm using my Kat Von D. I did a look like this a couple of years ago in black and white and I put it up on my page. And I got a lot of people requesting that I do this as a tutorial, so, so I wanted to add it into this one. And this is the finished look that I'm going to do for photos for my Instagram. So I am gonna take some cool artsy photos of this, edit those, and they'll probably be up on Instagram right before this. So typically the way that I post on my Instagram is I'll do a photo, then an Insta video, and then another photo. So the two photos will be up on my Instagram. So you guys can take a look at those if you want to. I hope you guys like this look. Uh, I don't know exactly how this video turned out, so I hope that you guys like it. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Periscope, though all those places. Everything is Rob Beauty Christie. I thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you at my next video.